All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about fishing the, the post spawn and sort of the, the migration route of these fish. You know, in the spring, they, they're most likely going to spawn around the bank. If they've got cover around the bank, you can see these willow trees, uh, stumps or sticks laying close to the bank, a uh, little protected cove like this. Those are going to be the, the primary spawning areas. Uh, these stumps a little bit further out, especially the ones that might be on the edge of a ditch or something like that, have a little more depth, and I can I can start pitching around those with the, with a creature bait. Uh, this net bait Mad Pocket is a, is a great bulky bait. I got I'm going back to a little bit heavier weight and pitching around these targets just outside the spawning areas for fish that are that are just coming out. And if I and if I feel like the fish are done spawning, like you know later into the summer or something like that, I start working my way out from wherever I thought the, the main spawning areas were. And if I don't find them around these semi-shallow targets like this, I'm just gonna start working my way out short, offshore. Hopefully there's a uh, depression, a ditch, or something like that that's sort of like their highway and their, their route back to the, the deeper water. And I'll just follow the contours of it and I'll adjust my presentations to cover whatever targets might be there. Uh, in this particular case, this place is full of wood and that's their primary cover when they get away from the bank is wood. There's a bite. <laughs> oh, he came off. But, uh, but he was out there on the ditch, the ditch leading out of this pocket. And uh, I'm just gonna follow that all the way out. And uh, as it gets hotter and hotter, they're gonna be closer to, to deeper water, especially in a place where they got a lot of shad. And uh, you can find them out there offshore and you can cast this bait and drag it. If it's not targets above the water where you can see and pitch at them, you can just cast this Mad Paca or, or a big 11-inch uh, C-Mac is, is fantastic for doing that. A big crankbait, uh, spinnerbait, uh, the swim bait on a jig head like uh, this, this swarming hornet. And here I got the little spanky on there, but I'll go to a bigger head and a bigger spanky if I'm fishing deeper water, a place that's got bigger bait fish. That's a great way to catch fish once they get out there off the bank and they get grouped up in the summertime. You know, the, the Mad Paca is another one of those baits that uh, Netbait has that's extremely versatile. This is the full size version. That's, that's a lot of meat and that appeals to big fish. Um, you can use it Texas rig like that. But you can also put it on a Carolina rig. If you're just trying to locate fish, I would say go with the baby Mad Paca first. Put that joker on a Carolina rig and fish some of these offshore drops and, and cover a lot of water and, and find the school of fish. And once you find that school of fish, then you can upsize your presentation and put this bigger one on the Carolina rig, or you can put it on a on a, a half ounce weight and uh, and drag it. Texas rig works pretty good too, along with the 11 inch C-Max. So, uh, you know, just uh, adjust your, your bait and your presentation to the areas that you feel like the fish are gonna be concentrated and you're gonna have success. Buddy. He ate the mad pocket. I just saw him on the grab. There's a point right there coming out of a spawning cove. It went from four to eight feet deep. I was marking fish as I drifted over it. I just left that mad pocket down there, slowly drug it across the cover, and it went peek peek. And there he is. Good quality, healthy fish. Post spawner. Already offshore. And there's just more coming. <laughs>